thesmartlocal.com Disclaimer, I'm all for saying whatever you want because mm. I think that now we're in a culture where there's this stupid mentality of everything needs Politically to be tolerated. Correct or something yeah, like that, right? which yeah. is then ridiculous. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Coffee Break where we get the most unqualified and immature individuals to talk about current affairs in Singapore and around the world. Must drink water, man. Three, two, one. Hello! Chicken! It's a real piece of chicken. Can we eat? Can we eat? Can we We're in for a treat because this episode is sponsored by none other than KFC. Oh, and huh? this is the KFC signature grilled chicken. Nice. Alright. Oh. KFC? Yes, it's their brand grilled? new item in their this. menu. But can I just say it's a very big piece of chicken? It, in fact, it is an oven grilled whole quarter leg. The marinade is made of a blend of paprika chili, pepper, garlic, onion, and herbs. Of course, in KFC, the herbs are important, right? KFC. Good already. Eh, share. When you order this in stores, right, they will grill it in the store itself. Whoa, fresh. Ah, they will the freshly spot. grill it. It takes about 26 minutes for them ah. to prepare this. So it's actually not like instant ready, you know what I mean? No wonder got the grill wow. lines. You say that you say it's paint on yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not. <laughs> None of you have tried this right? I've never. Whoa. I've actually <laughs> smelt them. Okay, so I went to the <laughs> 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 I went to the KFC outlet, right? And then when I I stepped in, right, you can smell it. We'll be trying it across the entire chat session. We will give our final review at the end of the episode. Okay. Okay. So, 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 so basically, <laughs> your one task for the day is to eat it. It's so big. It's very big. Compared to Fauzi's face. <laughs> oh my god. Chicken yeah. chicken. Yes. Yes. Chicken bread. Um, oh, for the skin, them nice. good. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, it's, a bit, yeah. it's a bit spicy. Well, actually, yeah. I'm, I'm quite happy that the taste is very unique. Yeah, but you know how you eat chicken, right? That only mm. the skin is flavorful. Mm. This one is like both. Like penetrate inside. If anybody has to do chicken good, right? It probably has to be KFC. Yeah. While we continue eating this, let's talk about our actual next topic. <laughs> I got clean hands. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What? Wi Fi? This that? is a modem. DSL changing Wi Fi. Internet. <laughs> So this is the router, right? Yeah. So what we're talking about today is actually Malaysia's oh, no. about uh, potentially banning the internet for teens yes. from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Huh? huh? Yeah. For, for teens? Yeah, teens. How to decide? That's exactly my first bang. thing. Yeah. How do you do that? Yeah. Because How do you regulate? Like at home, yeah, you use the computer. You don't know whether it's an adult or the kid. Mm, mm. I but think it's done in like Japan and South Korea. Eh. Huh? Similar measures. Yeah, I don't understand. So I don't actually know. Have you heard of any measures in other countries where they ban the internet? No. I don't know like in Singapore they ban China. porn lah. No, I know they ban <laughs> certain sites, but yeah. I don't know that they can ban internet. Actually, there's one country right where mm. they were going through some like political shit. Mm. Then the government decided to shut down the internet for a few years. Oh right? my god, that sounds oh very familiar. Yeah, the it's entire it's country go crazy. Eh. They all go on the street, start to riot, everything. Mm, yeah. them Regardless of kind of the ban or what the measures they're gonna put in place, right? It's about internet addiction. Uh-huh. And actually internet addiction for the younger generation today. Kids, right? They literally have the internet at their fingertips. We experienced life without the internet before. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, whereas yes. they are, the moment they're born already, right, the first toy they play with is iPads. Yeah. No, but yeah. what what happened that made them want to suddenly yeah. ban? I don't know if it's only unique to Malaysia, but I feel like a high percentage of the teens today are highly addicted, addicted to like video games. Mm. But is it only gaming? Because like, if you talk about Japan and Korea, right, gaming is like considered a respectable yeah. career. I disagree with this move because like the internet has been like such a pervasive thing in our whole society. La. It feels like it's a very uh, step in the wrong direction if you try to regulate it instead mm. of grow along with it. So like banning it for kids of a certain age, right? True, you might curb internet addiction, right? But you may also stop certain things like kids from becoming like some top South Korean gamers. You, as a result, you, you stop certain uh, avenues of growth. La. But then the argument there is that just because of this minority, you let everybody else suffer from the addiction, mm. man? No, but like, is it is it an addiction if everybody is able to experience similar things and then after that able to bring themselves up? No, man. Even for myself, right, I'm struggling with like internet addiction and like the harmful effects of internet. Okay, I don't think I'm addicted, but you will definitely feel like left out. Like for example, I've tried cutting off myself from Instagram before. Once you enter that blackout phase, right, like, there are a lot of things that you miss out. Then everybody is talking about some something that's happening, but you don't know what's happening. I feel like that's, that's the problem. We see value in being 
always up to date. Yeah, the, like the, the faster you, you know about the latest information, then that means yeah. you're the coolest or whatever. I know like a lot of like primary school kids nowadays, right? They also use like the live stream la. Oh, and they yeah. actually have eating like Maggie Me. But it's yeah. all like on the internet, what? And I think like, it, it became part of their life. Yeah. Because they were born in like maybe this era. Mm-hmm. This is yeah. literally one of the arguments why I would say it's terrible to kind of just take it away. Yeah. Because it's already part of their lives. Yeah. If you just take them away immediately, there will be a revolt. Mm. It's like going cold turkey all of a sudden. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. exactly. It'll backfire. Like, I feel like parents should teach them why is it wrong in the first place. Yeah. Not just like take something away. I think that's easier mm. said than done, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, a blanket rule law like this or something yeah. it won't help. Yeah, yeah exactly. Help. This is like, like you eat, sweet, <coughs> eat, too much, eat too much sweet, then your parents take away the sweet from you. <laughs> then you will rebel. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, this policy sounds like old people making decisions for young people. <laughs> but I mean, at least they're doing something, I guess. No, but I think all, all this money can be channeled into like you say educating healthy yeah. internet usage, ma. Yeah, mm. like at school, so like mm. if they do that, I, I feel it will be, be it I will be better. better. Right? The moral of the story is everything in moderation. Yeah, it, it really and, is yeah, uh, Take care of yourself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah take care of yourself. Okay. Open sesame. Singapura. Singapura. <laughs> oh, Singapore. Hey, correct, correct way. Mm. Wait, what's the topic? NDP lah. NDP. Yes. NDP just over. Oh. So the topic is literally NDP. Oh, okay. okay. So let's first talk about the National Day Parade. Okay. Do you guys watch it? Oh my god. Oh, no, I almost watched it. <laughs> Have you watched? A portion of it. Oh, I watched okay, people. Um, Insta story and you know what I saw? Yes. The guy doing this while he dancing. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 the design was the most. He dance, he's all, he just as a construction worker, I think. No, purposely, oh. right? Like Why did you not watch it? I took advantage of the holiday to go overseas. Why do you not watch it? I gave my parents tickets to go and watch it actually. Wow. wow. I think this year's NDP, right? I heard like a lot of people say that it's very nice. Mm. And and they say it's something special. Mm. They said that there's this segment where there's like Bujing Fong came out with like a few like Oh, oh, feature stories Yeah, right, feature stories people, of yeah. like real people in Singapore yeah. Including like the Hong Tho Ching lady They like showed it during NDP mm. Well, I watched this trailer already Yeah, and it's something <laughs> that not a lot of NDPs have yeah. You know? Now speaking about the effort that people put into the National Day Parade One thing came out of that and that is Sha Shui posted a story, a particular story About a particular performance during the parade And I quote Not a fan of this nonsense messy dance that went on for quite a bit and then everybody took to that to like reply her and tell her like she didn't appreciate the the hard work that the ITE and NS men have gone through to put up the performance just a lot of like backlash lah to her her argument is that it's not about the effort that they put in she said that the dance is just not good. Though. I think the real issue here, which is something that where I'm not sure yep. where, who is right and wrong, right? Is yep. because she's not just anybody. Yeah. She has influence, mm. correct? I, I don't know whether because of that, then she has to be a bit more careful with her words. For example, right, if you are anybody, you go and watch a movie, after you say, I, I don't like the, mo- the mm, show, mm. it's fine. But then, as somebody who has influence, uh, and when she criticizes something like yep. that, do you think she needs to be more responsible and accountable for what she says? I, and because of that, Censor herself a bit more. Um, okay, I feel that right, this is a very grey area. Yeah. Sia uh, right? Bless her soul on one side. Okay, but anyone can have this opinion. The only difference is that Sia is more spoken or outspoken about it in the sense that she posted on Insta story. Yeah. So I feel that what is uh, wrong in this situation is the way Singaporeans are reacting. Because after that, a lot of the responses were personal attacks. Very unhealthy responses. La. She is definitely not at fault. It's just because she has a following, that's why people are like. Using that about right, it yeah. against her. Like, why must you say this? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's like people have this uh, excitement to see influencers fall. Disclaimer, uh, I'm all for saying whatever you want because mm. I think that now we are in a culture where there's this stupid like mentality of everything needs to be tolerated. Correct or something. Yeah, like that, right? which yeah. is then ridiculous. As in, I don't, I don't care. I, I think it's fine. But I'm just saying, like the, the argument uh, that mm. if you are a public figure, then. Does it change things? Do you need to be responsible for what you say? I think it's yeah. it's a very tricky situation because yeah. right, if you all watch National Day Parade over the years, right, you will know that there are parts that you like question, right? Why is it even there? Because yeah. of the performances yeah, yeah, are a bit like, mm. yeah, for her, she actually expressed that lah, and on a platform that is so visible to so many. So that's where um, I think where John comes in and say like, is it because she is of somewhat status. of a status that the people yeah. will be more offended by her? What if? President Halima Yaakob I was thinking of something like this yeah. The response right will be different Because President Halima Yaakob is not influencer People will not be sending her threats People will instead right ah. Move to improve 
yeah, or something like that. No, yeah, I don't think so. Eh. I think she will kind of uh, no, backlash. I think not as, as much. I but, still feel that there will not be this much. Look at this. All these are attacking the fact that she's a Influence. influencer. Yeah. And about her hair, eh. irrelevant. And this is what's ugly about Singapore, lah. No, actually, you remove the word nonsense. Will it have been less <laughs> offensive? But it would be less <laughs> yeah, shit. What? I think that word nonsense is a bit strong, but I mean, if she says not a fan of this messy, messy dance, dance then I will get it, you know? If we watch it again, like, actually, yeah, maybe it's messy, messy, maybe it's not like very coordinated, yeah. then maybe people will be like less offended. La. Oh, but she must oh. hit it where it hurts my <laughs> <laughs> No, I yeah. feel like with any opinion you have, right, people have something to say about it. Even if it's a good opinion, some people don't agree. Mm. But I think it's very ugly how some people would respond to her. Lo. I feel that having an opinion is good. Yeah. But but delivering with tact is your choice. So right, the only thing that someone can sort of like attack the way that she's presenting uh, she's presenting it very tactlessly. You cannot attack her opinion. People are getting riled up for the wrong reason. If you want to have a case, bring it up to her in it's like maybe you could be, maybe the response could be you could be more tactful, maybe you don't need to say it's nonsense. But that's as far as you can criticize her opinion. Yeah. Uh, unless your USP is being tactless. Because you see right, <laughs> you have somebody who is a very very great influence right, mm. tell people to like Go and kill yourself. Mm. There's a high chance that that will impact people's yeah. lives, you know. Correct. Yeah, and then what will happen then? Mm. So I think you have to be careful no matter what. I think people should also kind of like censor for themselves. Like yeah. don't believe everything as it is. That true, kind of true, true. You have to know what is import what is uh, uh, important opinion, what is not. Ma. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah, people I mean, need to check their emotions also. La. That is true. People in general on the internet can just take a chill pill for a moment. Yes. <laughs> right. The next one is a very controversial video. It came out slightly before National Day okay. and it started going viral all oh. over the internet. Oh, that's, that's good. For Bro, all the wrong reasons. I haven't watched. So this video was produced by the people of Get Juice. They promoted it as 53 influencers are celebrating National Day Parade. Okay. How many of them? I can see the color grading. Eh? Why, why do they say it's 53 influencers? That was my first question actually. No, like everyone in there is an influencer, I guess. Oh, they they, you've never heard of that has no influence? So what? that's a, okay. So what is the definition of influencer? No, that, that, that is literally one of the things that a lot of people say lah. And uh, then they say like, who, who are, are these people these? and who are they influencing? Actually, a lot of people were not familiar with these people. Lah. Maybe they are influencers for a very specific niche audience. So this is they get from the <laughs> SG, SG Insta vips. The we from Face Asia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The video was actually quite nice. Eh. Yeah. I think it was filmed not bad. Yeah. No, <laughs> and, and I like quite like the music. Yeah, quite catchy. Yeah. No, I don't the have any original. Yeah, so I think it's by Rip Oh, the problem is. I feel like there's no relation to this video and National Day. Correct, are they wearing wood red and white? Right? <laughs> it's very tenuous, the relation. The and they micro influencers, so correct, Singapore. Spill the tea. Yeah, spill the tea. Micro. Tea. <laughs> they go to some places in Singapore, though, I guess. Yeah, that's the, literally the it. Locations, correct, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? But half of the video is Get Juice. It's basically a promo for the club. The other one argument that a lot of people say is that this is what they use as a representation of Singapore. So a lot of people are saying like, uh, where is the minority? Uh, I don't understand that. Everything is Why? No, I, say, I don't understand the whole like, what, what's wrong with not having a minority representation? No lah, just Singapore. some people get triggered by that lah. And then like, because it's a National Day video. I mean, obviously it's not a National Day video. No, like, come that's on. the thing, exactly. $53 it is not. bill tower. <laughs> <laughs> it is obviously, to me, it's, it is more apparent to be a Get Juice get promo juice video, promo, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, oh, but yeah, it was yeah. like, it was sold as a... It, no, it's literally, the, it's Happy Birthday Singapore, 53rd birthday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. You never see that the no, first no, part and the very last part. Is this Get Juice Wishes here? Yeah, correct. That, but this no, is they, what, but, but this they is never what say they do. Day. So, like, them incorporating what they do, and then with a bit of like national data, there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's okay. <laughs> I think no. it's great. Eh. Okay, okay, the mistake is the influencer part. You just don't say influencer. You just say like, okay, we just do like a dance. 53 dun people. Yeah. Right? 53 exactly. Yeah. Okay, yeah. then maybe that this is like a music video for Singapore, right? Okay. If you don't frame it as a national day video, right? I will have zero problems with it. Mm. Maybe that was the tactic. Yeah, no, I think so. Eh. Cause if not, it would have been like just another a dance video. video. Yeah, yeah. People were very triggered by, I think, how it was framed. When you first watch the video, already like, oh, this is supposed to be a National Day video. Mm. They're like, because especially in comparison to a lot of the National Day videos that the actually series. have come out, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this. Yeah. Pales in comparison. So Get Juice did come out with an explanation on why they made the video. Honestly, I don't know if the explanation helped them in any way, by the way. And then they're, they're saying that it's a personal interpretation. Uh. <laughs> if they say 53 influencers, right? Then people who are there, is I see share that kind of thing. Oh, then I would make... Then uh. do you think it uh, makes a difference? Actually, no, eh. Yeah, I think it uh. definitely makes a difference. 
Because you're actually using real influencers, which means that the yes. person engaging them, right, the idea will be stronger also. Yeah. I feel like people are just offended by the influencers. Part. Yeah, people are oh, just trying to see influencers yes. for. What is your final word on that video? The moral of the story is to choose your words wisely. Yes. The last thing we have to talk about is the chicken. So, chicken, how was it, guys? It and was. Then, no words. Figure good. <laughs> oh! That's good. Oh my god. Oh, shit, it's so good. Eh. This is like the best shit ever, man. Mm -hmm. Nice, very sweet, ah. Mm. Ten ten, we'll buy again. The chicken is very flavorful, very moist, and I think it's definitely something I will order again very easily. Mm -hmm. It's it's a good alternative, I would say, to the regular like fried chicken they have. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much for watching this episode of Coffee Break, and thank you very much KFC for sponsoring this episode. Your chicken is indeed. Finger licking. You all should say it together. Finger licking good. good. Finger licking good. If you guys have any interesting topics you want us to talk about in a future episode, leave them in the comments down below. Uh, but if not, you can like, share, and subscribe and watch our other videos there. Okay, until next time. In, in my, my chicken. Cheerios. <laughs> get grilled, get grilled. <laughs>